The dream machine among the hundred thousand dollar units. Well, I made it to uh, Shrek, no, Sky Trek Adventure Park. That might be more up my alley. They might even have a zip line or something. Down here, right beside it, is the Enchanted Forest. But I think this is made more for kids. You were almost there. Parking in 50 meters. I already parked. He's got a slack job. So I'll go down and see the Enchanted Forest. If it's looks like it's kids and family related, then I may not bother with it. And check out the other one. I don't think there's any admission. I'll oh, take a quick walk through. It's interesting. Even just the, you know, the highway right beside it. Pretty loud. But even just the construction of this stuff, eh? After visiting our forest, please send Jessica. I'll consider it. Looks like you've got to pay admission. Admission at Mushroom. Well, I got this far. I'm also doing a quick walkthrough, eh? Okay, the admission lady said it's about uh, 40 minutes. Washroom, Jack and Jill. I guess they're not woke yet. Well, fish blocking my way that way. Just gotta go the other way. I'll just take uh, several clips throughout it because I don't need to be filming. 40 minutes, that's gonna be a long video in itself. Hey sir, how you doing? Oh, he's got a hard body. This is a magical No rules and regulations. Big, oh, there's a little zip line, probably for kids up there. Let's see if I'm uh, too big to be considered a kid. Definitely a place for kids and family. Uh, wishing well, looks like. I'm gonna make a wish. Do, 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 do. Oh, Van will not break down. Van will not break down this trip. I can see this being quite enjoyable for the children and the birds are just a singing, singing agreeing. Who's this? Little Bo Peep? Have you lost your sheep, Little Bo Peep? Oh, there's the straw man, I think. And, uh, you know, Coolio Glacius. 
house. Pooh house. I thought it was Winnie the Pooh's house. But it's an actual washroom setup. <laughs> oh, I really like the way they built through the roof. It's definitely an enchanted forest. Bird. Big white bird. Let's see, it's carrying something. I don't know what it is. Let's get closer. Oh, it's the stork. Delivering a baby. Isn't that special? Hey, this is more up my alley. It's uh, posted as a nature walk. Let's walk through the enchanted forest. Listen to the birds. And enjoy the nature. Not so much of that fairy tale stuff. In fact, I don't see any out here. Oh, there's my buddy the squirrel. It's kind of humid, hot and humid. Actually, not overly hot, but humid for sure. What's this say? Main trail. Well, I'll also stay on the main trail, I guess. There's something about the great redwood. Western red cedar, the oldest living thing in the enchanted forest, are the trees. About 1035 AD, no way, this cedar was a seedling. How fucking old is that? Like 500 years or something? When Christopher Columbus discovered America, I guess as we know now, he didn't discover it, it was always here. It was over 450 years old and about 800 and about 850 years old when Canada became a dominion. Huh. Uh, it survived a forest fire in the late 1890s. This tree has been about 1,000 summers and winters. Has seen 1,000 summers and winters. If it could only speak. No shit. Look at that big sucker. I don't know if it's allowed, but I gotta go hug it. I gotta go hug it. 850 years old. Whoa! Oh yeah, nice. Thank you for your service to the nature. Thank you for staying alive. Hey, hey. Quite a variety of vegetation here. There's the um, trembling aspen, devil's club, pickle point on devil's club, and the elderberry. You can see it in picture, but you can also see it in reality. This is what I like, the nature part, and reading through these different signs. Hazelnut. Western hemlock. What do we got over here? Timbleberry. Well, good thing it's July. I'm gonna do this uh, wetlands walk. Maybe I'll see a, uh, supposed to be salmon down here. Beavers and whatnot. Although I've seen a few beavers in my day. But it's always nice to see some salmon or even any fish swimming around. Unfortunate, it's so close to the highway. The uh, vehicles rushing by really uh, disturbs the ambiance. I don't see any salmon, but apparently salmon uh, run down here. It's probably too late in the season. Don't they uh, spawn in early spring or something? Oh, beavers and us. Proper etiquette when dealing with a beaver. 
That's always good to know. Very beautiful, anyway. Well, there's my answer. Salmon pool season, September, October. So it's too early. Oh, by the way, uh, anyone over 14 single individual to get in is uh, $14. Uh, so that's quite acceptable. Yeah, so not much luck seeing salmon now, I, I believe. We're way out of season. Because this path is kept oh natural. Oh natural. No trimming around the edges. Don't know where I'm going. But I'm sure they wouldn't mislead me, right? God damn traffic. Too much traffic. Quite a few areas along this river or creek, whatever it is, that would be just awesome for uh, swimming. And I'm sure also fishing at the right time. Well, I head her back and check out that other attraction. Oh, there is some little fish. Look at that. Little baby fish. I don't know if you can see them or not. But they're hiding out. Hiding out from the big fish. Good day, sir. Can you tell me which way to the exit? There we go. Some fish in here. I think it's a uh, rainbow trout. Oh, quite a few in here. Okay, back to the van and plan my next uh, location. See, when you're uh, holidaying in a van with no, uh, well, I got a toilet, but it's a portable thing. You tend to use the facilities you can, eh? Plan appropriately, and you never have to use the one in the van. Uh, I gotta shut it off now. Exit through the tunnel. Whoa, nice. You can see how this would be very enjoyable for kids. It's kind of enjoyable for me too, but kids would just really love this, wouldn't they? That's all you got to do. Ah, they're pretty wise in their marketing. You got to exit it through the gift shop. Got me a nice little wristband. Souvenir. I'll probably end up ripping it off my arm sooner than later, but uh, for now it looks good. Get away from this highway. Too much frickin' traffic. I think I'll find a place to camp early and explore the area and do a little maintenance on the van.